Groom's Day's partner swaps and a dramatic commitment ceremony. It's been a very, very busy week on Mass this week, but more importantly, Ella has found out that JJ has never seen Beauty and the Beast. So they had to have a movie night and he wasn't too impressed with the talk in Chester drawers. I've never been so scared of a bit of furniture in my life. It was a difficult week for Peggy and George because they've been in an intense training for a piggyback competition. I don't want to have to carry his weight on my shoulders anymore. And for some reason, Ross kept letting the phone ring out at the dinner party. Okay. Oh, brilliant. Why won't you answer me? I want to place an order for flowers. Hello, Ross. Hey, I'm Yasmin Evans and welcome to Maths UK. It's official. We have had our penultimate commitment ceremony this week. Our couples have been on their homestays. Two more couples have left the experiment. I think we need an actual expert this week to help us work everything out. So the brilliant Mel will be joining us later on in the show, as well as our wonderful bride, Ella. I've got so much to ask her. Mm -hmm. We'll get into it. And we're spoiling you today because our gorgeous and talented Tania Taylor is here. <laughs> and let it be known, my best mate. <laughs> That's very important. So this is going to be even more cackly than last week's episode. We had Tasha and Shanita here. We yeah. were like two witches round a cauldron. Love it. Right, Tania. Yeah. Let's go through the couples that are currently in our maths experiment. Jay and Luke. So they've actually been removed from the experiment by the experts. They're not the first couple this year to experience this process of being removed. removed. RIP Brad and Shona. Yep. Um, but this was because of Luke's behavior towards Jordan. He behaved like that because he was guilty. Yeah, 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 for like, sure. And it was so childish. And I always thought that about Luke. I'm not gonna lie. I always thought that Jay deserved just a little bit better. In the first week, Luke and Jay were my favourite couple. We had Luke on the sofa where you are. They got on so well. So well. And then as the weeks have gone by and the more I've seen him on social media, no offence, Luke, I'm mm -hmm. just like... It's given a little bit childish. Yeah. And I think she deserves a grown man. I think a grown man wouldn't have handled that situation like that. There was no Banging need. Banging on the door. There was no need. It we had all... to see a member of the production. Yeah. Right? And when that happens, you know that... It's never good. It's, it's never good. Um, so... I don't know if I'm hopeful for them too. And I'm from Essex and he was not putting Essex on the map in a good way. Well, there I'm you go. Saying. The mayor of Essex has spoken. <laughs> so moving on from that, let's chat about Erica and Jordan. So oh. I, now I think we're getting to understand Jordan a bit more. Not saying that he's right in the way that, but you know, he let us know that he... Has OCD. Yep. Obsessive compulsive disorder. Yeah. Which I think was really brave of him to say on national television. 100%. Um, and obviously then we had Mel speak about his diagnosis. But poor Erica. I think, that, I don't know if it's poor Erica. I just, really? they're, okay. they're my least favorite couple. I'm oh God. Say. I have Why? to rip the bandaid off and say that. I think Erica doesn't give people a chance. I think they're both really, really opinionated mm. and they get involved in everyone's relationships. They do. And fair. I'm like, you guys aren't perfect. Like sometimes they sit at the dinner parties and they have these facial expressions where they're like looking at each other and like, I yeah. don't get that vibe from her. I don't mm. get that she really gels with other people and that she tries to gel with other people. And that's what was written at the penultimate Commitment dinner party. Yeah. Commit yeah, dinner party yeah, the dinner when party. they wrote the letters. Well, they didn't participate in partner swap week. And I was thinking, who would they have swapped with? But would it have been Sean and Mark? Because they also didn't participate. Because they didn't participate. So yeah. it would have been a swap with them too. Yeah. I would have liked to have actually if Jay and Luke were still in the experiment, that they should have swapped. Oh, that would, all oh, hell would have broken loose. <laughs> I think maybe they would have understood and, Each and, other. and come to like a really lovely mutual ground of apology, hopefully. No, Luke wasn't sincere in his apology. Well, I don't think Jordan evidently Jordan doesn't want to yeah. say sorry either. Jordan doesn't want to say sorry and Jordan's really stubborn and doesn't care. But yeah, Erica and Jordan, I think they need to focus on themselves yeah. because they're a little bit weak right now. Yeah, and they both did share that with their um, families as well. Yep. Erica's grandma, who reminded me of Mrs. Claus. She's literally, so jolly. So jolly. The best. <laughs> um, so like we said, Mark and Sean also didn't participate in Partner Swap. I feel so bad. Right. I just, we didn't even hardly get to see any of them because no. everyone's drama was taken over. So no wonder Sean was completely out of like... I also think Sean just didn't try. He I think he just bothered. didn't give it a try. 
Yeah. And I feel really bad for Mark. And then when he was like, should we talk after the letter? And everyone was like, oh, he's going to dump him. We all knew it was going to happen. It was, was going to come. I think he needed to give it one more week. Yeah. One more week and really lean in. Because when they're on their honeymoon, I was like, oh, they're front runners. Like, they really got on. They did the down and dirty. I think as soon as they came up from the honeymoon, he was out. Yeah, he didn't try it. And I felt really bad. Because I think if you're in this experiment, yeah. you've got to give it 110%. Yeah, very true. Didn't, didn't get that from Shorty. He didn't. He didn't. And, I, and I wish Mark could stay. Keep him in. Just Mark for, was a vibe. He's a vibe. Mark was a vibe. And we I want to see Mark. more of the outfits. Remember the chain outfit? Yeah. Know? Give me that. Over the, the yeah, black over the toga. toga. <laughs> I've worn that in a bad <laughs> before. Right, so Matt and Adrian, another couple that are experiencing some trials and tribulations. I thought Peggy's head was going to turn. I honestly, 100%. Peggy was like, oh, you're really nice. And I'm like, if I had that body, and I thought, oh, Peg. Well, Adrian was doing the same with George. Yeah. Do you know what, though? I think opposites attract, and I hate when people are like, she's too this, or he's not an introvert, or he's an extrovert. And I just mm. think it's okay that he's a little bit more introverted. He's a little bit more laid back and she's the outgoing one. I'm always yeah. the outgoing one in my relationships. Yeah. I mean, I'm single, so what does that say? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you need someone like George. Yeah, I need a man that can squat better than me. <laughs> get out of it. Well, his form is not very good. His form is terrible. terrible. You're going to get backache. When it came to the penultimate dinner party, yeah. Adrian get, got very, very upset. Yeah. Which I think was a surprise to Matt. He had no idea. I don't think she really communicated and she said, you know, you're faking it. I don't think he was. I don't think he's faking it. He's just in his own little bubble. I think Matt's just a really nice guy. I think yeah. what you see is what you get. I think he's genuine. And like you said, in social circles and settings, he's just not that outgoing. It takes him a little bit of time to warm up. And I think it's fine that she can, like, take the lead. And mm. she just wasn't allowing him to just be himself. Right. I need him to make me laugh all the time, like George. It's not George, though. I'm not really sure. I think she's going to say leave. I think she's going to say leave. I think he's going to be devastating. I think he's going to go, oh. Okay. Literally. Do you think he'll... He'll stay, say stay. I think he'll say stay and she'll say leave. But then they'll, they've got to they've stay. They've got to stay. Well, speaking about leave, Peggy, last commitment ceremony, she wrote leave, knowing full well that George was, was going to say, say stay. stay. She knew. Beatrix, Peg, we she can knew. see right through you, babes. Do you know what? I agree with her, though, on the gaming. What do you mean you game Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays for three to five hours a day? What do you mean if my mum and sister want to go for dinner? You're like, no. I've She's got a always squat. shining the light in his eyes. like, And then he comes up with an answer and then she just storms off. But then... She's not listening to his reasoning. Yeah, but what you agree that it's okay to do the no, game three times a week agree. and squatting? No, I don't agree. I don't agree because that's a lot of squats throughout the week. It's 15 hours a week. Have the little lap, the three screens and the laptop in the corner. Not three, not... Yasmin, I not know Not in the bedroom, you, not in the bedroom. You would ne one, not in the bedroom. 100%. Two, you would never want him to say, I can't come to dinner with you and your mum. No. It's Friday and I've got a squat on the gaming for I think hours. he needs to really think when he's under the microscope of the way he's answering. Yeah. Because I think he gets a little bit defensive. And then later on when they talk about it, rose petals on the kitchen table, he's like, obviously I would put you first. So why you say that? Why do you say that before? Oh. But can we wrap it up? Uh, Every week, it's about the baguettes, the yeah, gaming, the squats. Yeah. Like, Do you know who I love? Move on. I love Peggy's sister. No, Because I've got her. sisters and they would be the same. So what then? You're just, just squatting then. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Like, <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. So they've gone to his house, George's house, which looks like the flats that they just came from, and by also, the way. And also, I hate them bed sheets. Oh, I hate the bed, bed sheets. sheets. He had I hate the side tables with the all the slippers. His slippers on. were on the bed. Oh. You've got slippers on the bed. Get your slippers off the bed. Off the top. There was so urgently. much clutter. And then I don't want to wake up in the morning and see your gaming station. That's what you have no. a spare room for. Yeah. You just don't have it. Go to your mate's house. Uh, for me, a house needs to be a home. And that little gaming scenario... Didn't look cosy, did it's it? It's not cosy. It's not for me. Well, it led to stuff. Peggy said she he hasn't said, gone all the way. Yeah. And he said, oh, I was very satisfied. Peggy's a little bit of a... She's a little bit of a giver. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Let's move on to our guest today and her new partner, JJ. Ella and JJ, so at the commitment ceremony, the experts told them to keep working at it because mm -hmm. they want, I think they want it to work. They've been through so much. Yep. We've seen them go through so much. They've gone in, out, shake it all about, hokey pokey. Yep. Is it going to be worth it? I think that Ella is way more into JJ than he's into her. There, I said it. You did. I just, honestly, I don't believe it. I think that Ella 
loves physical touch, right? That mm-hmm. must be her love language. So where she didn't get that with Nathaniel, she's just happy someone's kissing her. I yeah. really believe that. And I think JJ is like, she's my type on paper, but I don't really think he's as invested, if I'm going to be honest. Okay. I think it's more of a lust thing than love and real commitment. Yeah. And I don't think it's going to last. They had fun on their partner swap week, though, because Ella was getting she was all doing glammed the tennis. up for tennis. Do you know what? In that moment, like, obviously it was about Ella, but Arthur... I was like, like giving me good energy I vibes. I like Arthur. When she said, just be a slut. And he did. And he did it. I, I like <laughs> Arthur. I yeah, do. I do. We'll get to him. Um, so during her home stay, she visited a nan as well. Oh, God, I love Who was nan. like saying that you need to you have need sex. You need to have sex. 100%. It differentiates between you being mates and actually lovers and partners. Yeah. And you need a good boink sometimes. You've never used that I word. I've never used point. <laughs> but thank where you for did being, that, where did that thank you for being PG for the podcast yeah, today. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then they also went to Essex to see one of JJ's mates. Do you know him? I don't know him, but right, they've got okay. the exact same turkey teeth and I'm Same teeth. It. Same and teeth. And can I just say, Louis, JJ's mate, is one of the most underpaid actors ever because when he was expecting to see Bianca, you could have done better than that. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's it's not Bianca. Hang uh, on. Of course it's not. God, he's behind you. Yeah, right, honestly, panto. pantomime. Yeah. Ella went off to the little girl's room with her glass of Prosecco. I know, I know. <laughs> you don't take your drink into the loo. <laughs> she Just obviously saying. didn't. She, she obviously was didn't. peeking around the corner. Um, and Louis seems to be, like, I think a good friend for JJ. Like, if you like her... I support you. Yeah, yeah. Set some boundaries. Yeah. You're not convinced. I'm not. I'm just not, I'm just not convinced. Okay, well, we can talk about it with Ella in a bit. We can talk about it. Um, moving on to Ella's best mate, uh, Tasha and Paul. Oh, I'm so upset. I'm so heartbroken because I'm... they were just the king and queen. And yeah. Paul was like the nicest guy. And I think he wants someone that has fire because his mum's got fire. Oh, Don't yeah. forget Paul's mum. I did actually she's forget got, that. She has. She's got fire. Yeah, she has. However, I feel like Tasha's got too much fire for him. Yeah. Well, she admits it herself. Yeah. She said that at the dinner table. Like, yeah. she, he asked for something fiery. You and know, that's, that's what, what he got. got. Their first argument. We don't know what it was about. I know. I hate that he said, I don't remember. But it affected you so much, you don't remember. Yeah. I and think it was thin. something about the dishes. Because he said something like, it's not even about the dishes or something. I couldn't piece. Right. You know me, Inspector yeah, yeah, yeah. Morse. 100%. 100%. 100%. I'm, was... I'm sad for them, though. Because I didn't want them to hit a rocky patch and now they've hit a rocky patch. But Paul is just the nicest guy ever. He's so sweet. Well, also, marry his little, Paul. With his little lumberjack shirts. Let him have his little shirt. Let, his, let him have his shirt. Let him have his jeans. Rip jeans is not so great trainers, no. as she said. I liked his little gilet in the backward cap he was doing. Like, well, I just want him to is. trim the high top a little. <laughs> take it down an inch. Right. Do you like, know what like, I mean? Right. Just a little bit. Right. But I, I wouldn't want to change someone's whole wardrobe when she said, I just don't like your style. What that about, what if harsh. he said, I don't, I don't like, 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 yeah, I don't like the way you do your makeup. She's yeah. absolutely fuming. I will say this though. Mm-hmm. He's not soft. He's a boxer. He competes, Paul, in like. Yeah, he's soft at home. Yeah, that's true. You don't bring your boxing home, do you? No, but I mean that anonymous letter. Who wrote that? Hats off to George for saying like, it was say, me though. Yeah, but I love the way he went. Peggy wrote the nice stuff and I wrote the bad <laughs> stuff. He knows he's always the bad guy. Take the hit. I love it. I, I, I. I really do like George. You like George? I do. I do. I really, really do. Do you know who else I like? Arthur. Obsessed with Arthur. Obsessed. I will say the homestay when he went to go and meet Laura's friends. I'm I'm just not sure about the dynamic. No, I don't like their energy. I don't like their energy. I don't like their. And I agree with him when he's like, every time I'm with you, you judge me. We're going to see if he's good enough for her. Like, I get it. You want to make sure your friend and your best friend is with someone nice, but. I don't think they've given him a chance. And no, so they forced the him to have his back up. They forced him to be snappy and be rude. Because he's like, I have to defend myself here against yeah. two women. And I feel really bad for them. Yeah. I think it was just, a, it's just Clash of the Titans. That's what it is. Like, they're just, just missing too, each yeah. other. And also it's just too much going on. They haven't forgiven for the Googling. That's what it is. That was the catalyst. Yeah, that was the catalyst. So then when he rewrote the, the vows, vows and then it said it took 10 minutes, they didn't like that. Yeah, I just, it was very, it was a very, very uncomfortable meeting. And also, I don't know if you noticed, they're at a bar called Arthur's. 
No, so they were they that. were in Arthur's bar. They were in Arthur's yeah. bar. Do you endorse their relationship? I do. I really like them together, and I think over the last couple of weeks they've got a lot of stick. And yeah. she has, and I, d- I don't like it. And I'm like, let's leave them yeah, alone now. They've got Target on their backs. And Arthur's reason. really handsome. He is so handsome. So hot. Yeah, when he yeah. Was teaching Ella tennis, I said, tap my, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> um, Roz and Thomas. Can I just say, it's top of the runs that you've got to watch because Honestly. Roz was like, mm, yeah. and then she's like, spank me. I love it. Get the toys out at the dinner at the party. Table. Oh, and that's the, Would you that, do that? That's a bit of you. <laughs> Stop really my secret. <laughs> no, honestly, I live for them. I live that they were a little bit rigid in the start. They weren't yeah. even hugging each other. And now they're probably doing the most intimacy and activities out of everybody. everyone. Loving she was it. like, yeah, dressing up. She's like, you better go go and get the sex toys. Love it. I love I, them. I'm like, I, I really think we've seen a journey with them. Yes. There's been a lot of high-fiving though this episode. Just tone that down a notch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm not... I'm not your pal. And also, like, his mum's, the babies and the talk. Yeah, there's... Because Ross is getting scared. Well, we see that, don't we? Ross is going to get scared. For next week, that soon to come, or next yeah. time. But I think that's totally natural in a relationship when you get to that point. When you really like someone. And yeah. it's getting real. They're coming to the, towards the end of the experiment exactly. now. Where you literally, you don't have the experts, you don't have tasks... You've got to go out into the real, real world and bond with each other and get on with it, literally. I love the little egg that she was at. What? Have you ever... Would you do that? What? Just, like, sit there with a vibrator. At the dinner you? table? Yeah. Absolutely. It's the <laughs> stuff I love, live for. It's like, does anyone notice I'm <laughs> quivering in my pants? Yeah, we can... I, did any... I would like to know... I'm going to ask Ella if she knew what was going also, on. also, the sound. I would have been like... I think that was that? special effects. Right, okay. But thank you for I just, you know, playing into our no, I, theatrics. Because I literally thought, can so loud, hit? so loud. Um, well, I, I think live for that stuff. Ros and Thomas are my favourite. Yeah, at the I, moment. right now, and I like Arthur as well. Yeah, <laughs> not. No, I do. I like Arthur. Arthur, if you're listening, you're a nice guy. <laughs> you're a nice guy, <laughs> and I can't play tennis. <laughs> <laughs> Teach me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> what an absolute honour, <laughs> because we have been joined by our gorgeous bride, Ella, and our wonderful and wise expert, Mel! <laughs> What a line! Leave it. It's <laughs> like when you go to Disneyland and you see Minnie and Mickey. In real life. <laughs> Minnie and Minnie. Right I'll be now. Mickey. You can be Minnie. <laughs> um, so from the beginning, I have said I cannot wait to get Ella on this podcast. Mm. And the fact that we don't just have Ella, we have Mel and Tania. I Tania is my best friend. Like in life, in life, in life, we are actually friends. Best oh, friend. yeah, okay. Life. Yeah. And I know how much of a truth teller she is. Oh. And obviously, from watching you two. On Maths UK this year, I know that there is no filter. Mm -hmm. So please, let's get into it, ladies. There's permission. There is the permission. (laughs) Don't hold back. Don't hold back. No, no. And and also, this is a safe space. It is. Okay. Plus, we do also edit this podcast, Ella, so don't worry. (laughs) Yeah, you need to with me because of the shit that comes out of my mouth. I think we've seen that. (laughs) We have. Um, So this was your full first week back with JJ. Yeah. Yes. Even now I'm smiling. Like, no, no, I he see. honestly is just the most, like I've seen some of the stuff online saying like, oh, he's really boring. He's this, he's that. I feel like already people can see, and please tell me if I'm being delusional, that he is quite different around me. Like I feel like I brought him out of his shower and he just felt really comfortable. And I honestly, in the whole experience, for me, it started properly when I was with JJ. Like I smile, I'm happy. Like he just sees me for Ella. The transition doesn't even come into it. And that for me was such a big part. I was in shock that someone who is this straight cisgendered Essex boy who usually have a bit of a stereotype with the fact that he was just like, I don't care about your transition. I just like you for you. You're funny, you're this, you're that. And I've never ever in my whole life met a guy who's like, fits my type <laughs> genuine funny everything i wanted who's been like that with me um so yeah he just makes me happy mm, smile he's so sexy as well isn't he <laughs> shame he's so short but we can look past that <laughs> i was out he with him the quite... other day and i had these massive heels on he went ella can we have no pictures he's like, can you crouch down and i was like oh, oh yeah i forgot they were like big big heels. how tall is he so he's only oh god five 
Nine. Don't lie to me. It's five, Ella. It's five, Ella. I'm five, 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 seven. And I'm, yeah, I'm five, seven. So maybe he's like five, nine or five, seven. You're always in gorgeous heels. Mm. Yeah, but they're quite big heels. Yeah. Yeah. He could just wear his big platform. Yeah, uh, yeah, he usually wears his big Balenciaga one. I've seen them, Add a little bit of hype, bless him. (laughs) But yeah, I'm glad that we're back. Um, how, How important was it for JJ to meet your nan? It was so important for JJ to meet my nan, just purely because obviously I live with her. Like yeah. she is, she is like my fairy godmother. Like being, she's ninety, and to be that open minded with your your granddaughter, and obviously my transition, she was fully supportive. All of my friends were said, "Oh, my my grand would never accept it." Mm-hmm. Like older people in that generation, I think that we kind of make excuses for. Uh, like OAPs to be like oh because they're older you know they just don't accept it and I'm like "Mm, well my nan has so Mm -hmm. to me she's inspiring to young trans boys and girls or anyone actually who's trans that watches this show and could be like see her dad supports her her family her brothers her mum her nan so I've got an amazing relationship with her um I mean we've got Vulgar mouths, both of them. <laughs> I love her. Can I just say I yeah. love her? She's way. an icon, isn't she? She's like, get a shaggy in her ass. Yeah. It doesn't count. Oh, yes. That's where I get it from. I get it from my nan. Love um, but yeah, and she absolutely adores JJ. Yeah. You and he thinks that. she's incredible. I mean, there's no one that could not like my nan. No. So, yeah. oh, I want to meet you, Legend. Like yeah. Isn't oh, it? we should have brought her in here, but. Oh, no. Yeah. We she's need in a wheelchair, so I don't well, know. Well, we, we make space. Make space. That. Yeah, we make space. Um, and what what is this marriage like compared to the last marriage? Well, first of all, it's not a marriage. I'm just right, yeah. as Jordan pointed yes, out. Yes, uh, yeah. I'm just JJ's oh, girlfriend. Yeah. Sorry, yes. Um, but the thing is, I like that because I picked him. Well, mm. yeah. Well, I did. I, I like I picked yeah, him rather than he, he was chosen for me. I obviously wish in an ideal world that me and JJ would just match from the beginning because it would have been nice to have had a nice honeymoon with him and all of that stuff. But I like the fact that. He is like, yeah, he's he's my boyfriend. And I do think there's people, obviously, that don't agree with it. And it does rile me up a little bit because I'm like, I would never say someone's undeserving of love. No. And how is me coming back with JJ affecting anyone else? It's not. So I don't, to me, it's not anyway. Like, I wouldn't be offended if Roz and Thomas weren't working and then she came back with, I don't know, Luke. Like, I wouldn't be offended by them being there. I might have my opinion. I mean, I wouldn't give a shit. Like, I yeah, generally yeah. wouldn't care. Because I just think as long as you're happy, I could see, and I think everyone could see, me and Nathaniel were just not good together. Mm-hmm. It was quite clear to see Bianca and JJ were just not a great match. So if two relationships have failed, why not have one that could work? And I know Adrienne obviously said, oh, yeah, well, you could just do that on the outside. We did do that on the outside, but I also feel like I deserve just as much as anyone else to have the relationship and the experts help the way that I intended it to be from the beginning. So Mel, talk to us about that process then, because I guess we don't Mm. see the conversations of what the experts have outside of that moment Mm. and the decision made to kind of bring them in until the arrival happened. Mm. Um, Yeah. How did that process go? Yeah, a lot of it does happen behind the scenes, doesn't it? Yeah. And I think this is very much indicative of the way this experiment has evolved over the years. You know, this is my 13th season now. And, you know, over the last few years, we've been finding that it's becoming, as an experiment, more and more like real life. And, of course, in real life, couples split, Mm -hmm. people's eyes stray, Mm -hmm. people cheat, people swap. All of this stuff does happen in the real world. You know, we're really we're realistic enough to know that that stuff happens. And so with your situation, you know, this was a very real situation of two relationships not working out, two people finding each other in a, a state of attraction and they wanted to explore it. So, you know, we, we often say in this experiment that we don't control it, we follow the story. And, you know, in your case, you guys were very much dictating that this relationship's going to happen. So we had the option to either say, okay, we're going to pull back and and you can do it outside the, the experiment, or we can give you the opportunity to do it in here with us, as you say, with the support around you. So, you know, I think this is the new version of the experiment. Mm-hmm. You know, in the old days, it was very, very strict, very, very structured, and it meant that we didn't get to really see the full stories develop. Because let's be honest, we want to see. We want to see. We knew what was going to happen outside. Yeah. Yeah. Like, come on, feed us. Give us the food. We want to see Ella and JJ. Well, according to Twitter, it was boring without me, so I'm glad. Can I just say, I love watching you 
on TV. I but was so scared I you were going to say you that. hadn't done No, me. no. Okay. I was so excited that you were coming on here today. I just have to say that. Aww. And I think that you do deserve love. And I like to see you happy. My honest opinion is I want a little bit more from JJ. I want to believe it from his side just a little bit more. JJ, it's very hard to read JJ. Mm. And this is the yeah. one thing I always say to him. He is very, a bit like the Bianca situation. I actually, and I'd like to clear this up. I asked JJ to tell Bianca. So this whole, the one big regret that I have from this experiment is probably, along with a few, few small things, is saying I'm a girl's girl. Mm -hmm. I would class myself as a girl's girl, but the comments and the trolls and the hate I get for saying that and then cheating, in my eyes, I if I was in a real marriage yeah. and I was in a relationship with someone that I was fully in love with, I would class texting as cheating. Mm -hmm. I was in a marriage with someone that I didn't ask to be put with those texts were not inappropriate. Yes, we probably shouldn't have been texting them. I've held, held my hands up this whole time and I owned my shit and said sorry. But we didn't have sex. We didn't ki kiss or do anything like that. You can make a mistake. Like, yeah. You, you yeah. can make a mistake. It's completely I'll human nature. I'll never, ever say I'm a girl's girl <laughs> no, ever no, I just again. Think I, need to. I don't think you... I think obviously, like you say, that there's comments from people who are watching this series and the trolling and the nasty behaviour, which we do not endorse no. at all we don't welcome you in the maths uk no. family because people make mistakes yeah. i don't think you need to tell yourself i'll never say that again because that's just not you living your truth of what you want to say don't mute yourself because yeah. we trip up we're just not filmed doing it yeah but let's just chat more about you more about jj and this experience let's Thanks. move on okay you went to essex met louis Oh, I love Louis. I stand Louis. He's, Louis is so cute. He's, he's got better set of Nashes than JJ. I wanted to ask something. So during the conversation between JJ and Louis, JJ said something about you having a few too many drinks and getting going a little bit crazy on a night out. And I just would like to know what exactly what exactly happened. So me and Tasha, Ros and Jay, mainly <laughs> Tasha would go out quite a lot and obviously have a few drinks. I'm just yeah. a bit wild and I <laughs> quite like to show okay. certain body parts when I'm drunk. <laughs> I know. You know what I mean, girls, when she goes, my nan takes her teeth out when she's drunk. <laughs> I tend to like, I don't get know. Get your teeth out. Get, get, yeah. <laughs> oh, my teeth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just a bit more raw. I don't know. This you get a little bit raunchy. I do get a bit. With him though. Not with like anyone. Yeah. Like I wouldn't start talking to guys. Like I'm just all over JJ and I think he doesn't. It's a bit embarrassing when your girlfriend's all over you. Well, you're just, you're, you're acting on your feelings. Yeah, I can't help it. When well, I'm we can see that, so babe. horny. <laughs> we can see that. We can really, really see that. So, like, do you think that, Mel, do you think that's key in a relationship? Or is there a balance there? She's saying she gets a bit too raunchy. Is there, like, a scale of raunchiness? Well, I think it's about finding your level as a couple. Yeah. You know, it sounds like what you're describing here, Ella, is you being a little bit more on the raunchy scale than JJ and maybe not meeting in the middle. And that's what can lead to a bit of that frustration yeah. um, and overwhelm at times. So it just comes back to communication, doesn't it? Mm. Where are you at? What are you comfortable with? Where are your boundaries? What can we do in public? What can we do in private? Mm, we had a few of those conversations. And, and have you found that sort of middle ground now where you can manage the balance or is that just still a working it's just better that we don't drink around each other. <laughs> better right. that I'm just not drunk around him. Right, I mean, okay. Yeah, no, I have, I have, in all seriousness. I, I know, because I know it would wind him up if it was constantly like that. You're obsessed with him, aren't you, a little bit? Like, in a good way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, get a restraining order out on me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're upset. No, wrong, wrong choice of words. You're like... Sausage. You're Yeah, you're really into it. Yeah, no, I am. I do watch it back, though. And sometimes I'm a bit like, I was a bit too, like, showing that I was into him. But I think you had such a long time of not having that and not being able to express that yeah. side of you. Yeah. So it all built up. Well, my love language mm. is, like, is affection and words Touch. and stuff like that. Yeah. So, and it's not like I, when I was with Nathaniel and I kept saying it, it wasn't that I just wanted sex. It wasn't that. It was just, like, the touching mm. of the, like, JJ at the commitment ceremony would always, like, have his hand on my, like, um knee and like mm. hold my hand and kiss me and stuff mm. and like that's the stuff I wanted I mean I do obviously want more he's just so sexy like I've never been well, with well you've thrown the so condoms attractive. out the window 
Oh, yeah. Which was a back. mistake, because if he's going to do that, I'd rather him wear one yeah, and not exactly. get someone pregnant. So, Mel, let's talk about we're getting close towards the final commitment mm. ceremony. I'm actually so sad that this journey is going to be over. I know probably most of our participants are going to be relieved, mm. um, <laughs> maybe a bit scared. Um, now, the key is at this point for the process you know, the couples to really figure out their process of what's going to happen in the real yes. world. I can imagine that being really scary. Oh, yes. This this is the point where it does get scary, and I'm sure you can attest to this, because the couples all start moving their focus from what's happening right here in the experiment to after the experiment. And those really big questions come up at this point. Mm. Where are we going to live? If there's a distance, what does that mean? How are we going to incorporate our lives together our pets, our jobs, you know, all of these things start to become very real. Whereas up until this point, there's been a real bubble around the experiment. And you might say, shit gets real. All right. So Mel, I really want to know how important it is because I just feel like the partner swap is, I don't know if I'd feel comfortable doing that, but how mm-hmm. important is it that the participants do that in this experiment? Yeah, that was something we only introduced, I think, last year it's yeah. very new and it was we had quite a bit of resistance to it but really the intention here is just to get feedback from from different people and right. get different perspectives on your relationship because you know what you guys are like you're all talking about each other's relationships you're commenting you're observing and you're, you're right there close to the action so you can see so much about what's going on you know in other people's relationships and so it's so valuable to be able to have that time mm. and without your partner there, to be able to get some real honesty from someone else who's been watching you. Yeah, I think that could have really, like Erica said herself, that could have really helped her a little bit. Mm. I actually was saying to Tania, if Jay and Luke were still in the experiment, which totally respect that they're not at this point, mm-hmm. well, more so Luke than yeah. Jay, because I love my loving girl, love yeah. Jay, queen, what a queen. Yeah, I think that Jordan and Erica, if they swapped with Jay and Luke, that they could have... It could have been, I agree, I think that could have been really interesting to just get a bit of empathy for the other person's perspective. Just, I don't know, just Luke. Ruined it. Ruined it. Go on, hello, what have you got to say? No, no, I'm going to keep my mouth shut on this. Really? Yeah. Okay. I I wish they hadn't gone. I didn't want them to go, but I think that's purely just because like she was one of my best friends in the experiment and I did actually Luke was to me quite he used to say stuff to me off camera that none of the boys had the guts to say until he did and it was like really nice stuff about like his view on trans people and and he was just so open with me yeah so why are the homestays in in general just so important for these for these couples it's such a reality check yeah, yeah it, it really is. You know, you get your your nan or your your friends and family to come in with their big opinions, and often they are big opinions, and we put so much stock in our friends' opinions. I mean, look at the two of you. I'm sure you don't go anywhere without getting each other's opinions. Always. It's so important, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah, needed. And so if you're sitting on the fence or if you're feeling a bit ambivalent towards your partner, having your mate or your partner or your, sorry, your, your family come in and go, this person's wrong for you for these reasons or this person's right for you and maybe you're not seeing it. You know, we all have blind spots. Yeah. And I think our nearest and dearest can be sometimes brutal, but sometimes really honest and direct and say, this is what is making you happy or not making you happy. I think you should go with it. So important. Well, I think for this week, the homestays really benefited everyone. Mm-hmm. I think everyone was able to relax and chill out and just feel a little bit like what normal life's going to be like in a few weeks. Hopefully, it just made them not feel terrified. Or it probably did. So we've talked a lot today about partner swapping. So in the spirit of swapping lives with someone, I thought we could take a little journey into other people's lives. What I want you to do as individuals, if you could choose one of the husbands from the experiment, I'm going to ask you a few questions. Who would you choose? Past and present. Okay. So... Who would you choose out of all the husbands to take shopping, Tania? Uh, I'd say George for fun. George for fun? Yeah, just for fun. He looks like he likes a nice shopping trip. Yeah, shopping. and also he's got a house in the south of France, got a bit of dosh, spend it on me. <laughs> we could go shopping in France. <laughs> yes. Really? Yeah. You yeah. put a bit of thought into that, Absolutely. haven't you? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm considered. Mel, how about you? I wouldn't go this season. I'd go back a season or two and, and go for Thomas. Because, man, that guy has style. 
very true. I would love to go shopping with Thomas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How about you, Ella? I thought you were going to say me. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime, honey. Um, <laughs> who would I choose to go? What, food shopping or clothes shopping? Clothes shopping. Oh, okay. That's very specific, though, actually. I would yeah. love to know who you're going to go <laughs> yeah. food shopping with. Um, so I would have to go with Tasha because she makes some good food and yeah. she can actually cook. Yeah. I would have said Nathaniel. I will give him that. One thing, you know, I will Style. say, he can cook. Ah, okay. It's amazing. Um, who would you go on holiday with? Who would I go on holiday with? Yeah. Absolutely Ella. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Promise right you, choice. We are going to San Tropez or Miami. Yes, yeah. Yes. I'll get BB West him out there. No, it's fine. No! Yeah. <laughs> Bikinis yeah. on South Beach. Yeah. We can go to Club Live on a Sunday. I've yeah. been there a few times. I'll show you around. Oh, oh my God. This sounds fun. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. too old to come. Of course you're not. You have to wear me more clothing now. <laughs> yeah. Take this up a notch. Few inches. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Yes>. My <laughs> God. <laughs> that sparkles. <just> <gasps> I feel like I'm in the strip club again. I love it. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, who's the best at keeping a, your secrets if you're going to tell them? I know you're not going to choose Ella for this time round. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. I was going to try and defend myself there, but I no, I people that I were my friends, yeah. I kept their secrets. I still kept on to a lot of naughty secrets even now. And I would never say anything. Don't tease. But us. if you're not my friend, yeah, I'd tell everyone your secrets. <laughs> Just say it. No, it's true. We all would. Well, yeah, yeah, fine. Who's keeping your secrets, Mal? Who keep my secret? For some reason, I'm thinking Thomas, current season Thomas. Mm-hmm. I feel like he would pop it in the vault and lock it away. Um, can I say who I would pick? Yes. Please. I would pick Jay. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think she's going to keep my secret. She's yeah. solid, man. She'd be yeah. a solid she's friend. Solid. Yeah. yeah. Integrity. 100%. Yeah. So, last question. Who would you like to get stuck in a lift with? Because you can be stuck in there for a long time. Mm-hmm. You've got I'm a smile on your face Thomas. Now. Thomas. Very intelligent, mm. logical thinking, would contact the emergency services. <laughs> tell them, yes, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. He's I very think he regimented. Would panic and annoy no, me. I don't think so. <laughs> well, with no Thomas. signal. <laughs> Trust me, he'd make it happen. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm going to say Jay. I think yeah. I would love to just. I've, I've always thought I'd love to go out for a beer with Jay. So yeah. if I've got to be stuck in a lift, that's going to be my girl. Yeah, we yeah. love Jay. I would say my Spice Girls, so probably Tasha, Jay or Roz. Mm-hmm. Or Laura. Mm-hmm. Laura's clever and she's funny mm-hmm. and she's quite tall. So if I was get, trying to get out, I would get on her shoulders and go yes. through the vent, and, you know? Yes. Oh, smart. See, I'm thinking about getting out. Thomas, you're screwed with that because he's like five foot and nothing. I, and I'm five foot one. Ooh. You ain't Just, getting out. Yeah, no, no way. getting out. <laughs> you're stuck in there. Do so, you have any toys to keep us occupied? Oh, Thomas no. loves a toy. <laughs> 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 I'll be in the lift like that. <laughs> 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 Okay, well, as we cool down, uh, as if one game wasn't enough, we've got two. Every mm. week we do this. It's called hashtag you do the maths. No, oh, I see what you did there. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> um, so how good are we at maths in, in without oh, the calculator yeah, in your mind? Maths. I've got a C in GCSE. This is stressful. Good to know. It's been really stressful. <laughs> All right, so guys, it's that time. Hashtag you do the maths. So here we go. We've had two AAA batteries for a love egg. 15 hours of live streaming a week from Georges, zero hours time difference between Scotland and England, six inch heels to play tennis in. Uh. How did you do it? Uh, and minus two couples, which equal? Seven. 21. Seven. Come here. <laughs> what? With so much confidence. No? Yeah, I will deliver it with confidence. But Not you confidence. said plus my, oh, I don't know. 21, Mel, you're correct. How did you get that? What? How did we how get that? How did you get that? Did you just add them all up? up? No, but she said it got and to nine minus. and then she said minus. So you minus the two, which gets to seven. It doesn't. That's yeah. 17 plus. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> okay. That's why I'm the expert. Yeah. 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 Right. It's decision time, guys. Um, we do this every week. It's about, you know, whether or not you want to stay or leave this podcast to Ella. Does, is this bringing up a lot of memories? Yeah, it is. But obviously, we've got an expert in we the room. Just and not, this girl. Can I just say, and also we love Queen Charlene and King Paul, but this is the expert. 13 seasons of maths. 
Mm-hmm. You're a legend in this game you now. Are. Yeah, you are. You are my Absolutely. favorite. Absolutely. I know I'm not allowed to say that. Sorry, oh, yes, you Paul are. And <laughs> you, Mal was always my favorite. Oh, I feel like you you that. must connect as an individual to like an expert while you're in there. Yeah, yeah we've got reasons all... why. Yeah, we have. Aww. And yeah. Mal is just the most amazing ally. Oh, love that. We love that. So, Mel, would you be ever so kind to cast your wise and wonderful world words on this moment right here? How do you do it? How does it work? Because I always, every week I get my, my emotions just get involved and I get my, all my words tongue tied. You know, with some couples, we have to really coax it out of them. Mm. We have to build them up to really reveal their answer and to to give us a description as to why and how they arrived at that answer with others it's just well what is it what have you got for me Mm -hmm. so I think today there's been so much discussion (laughs) there's been so much sharing there's been oversharing that I think we're at the point where we can just ask what'll it be right (laughs) So, ladies, please pick up your books. Why am I so excited for this? I, I, I've never written in one of these. I hope I get what? to do one at the end. I know. Well, because I'm the one that, I'm the <laughs> husband that you're going to stay or leave. Because <laughs> if you do say leave, we will have to end the podcast. And I won't, Forever. Be, able to, I won't be able to pay my mortgage. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what? I've had to really think about this. Mm. Really think about, like, how I'm feeling today, like, in this moment in time. And think about, like... The energy that's been created. Are you gonna um, and I feel like it was a difficult decision to come to because there was just like light and shade moments in this meeting. And there's mm. just this, do you know what I mean? And yeah. there were some moments that were really up and some moments that were really down. Um, but love conquers all. Mm, so and true. on that note, I am choosing to stay. Aww. And you've decorated it so nice. Do you know what it is? Oh. It's love hearts for how much I love you and then just stars because they just look good and just some kisses because everyone needs kisses and love. They do love need kisses we and love. We do need and other things as well. Tell us about the other things you need. What's your decision? <laughs> <laughs> I love Mel. I didn't know that fingering comment was going to be made. I, oh, that was God. Oh, no that was Mel's brilliant. face, we don't see what you... And I was just like, oh, my God. <laughs> Mel was like, oh, okay, okay there, Ella. Jesus. <laughs> and I was just like... Oh no, my mum was sat next to me and I and out of all the experts, it was now the one that I probably didn't want to comment on it. Don't look at <laughs> Yeah, don't. Right. I, I've made this decision because, you know, I've had time to think about this all of like 10 seconds. Mm-hmm. I'm actually going to say goodbye, good riddance, 100% leave. Joking. Definitely staying, <laughs> bitches. <laughs> Read it. It says, goodbye and good riddance, 100% leave. I'm quoting that iconic line from my girl Bianca. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Uh, Joking, definitely stay in bitches. Because we're all girls, girls here, you know? We're girls. (laughs) Here's to girls, girls. Yep, we are girls, girls. girls. Thank you so much to my wonderful and beautiful guests, Tania, Ella and Mel. And make sure you are catching Married at First Sight every Monday to Thursday, 9pm on E4. And yes, Jordan, it's on at 9pm in Scotland too.